ready for another day of learning? I'm Teacher Erdi, your math teacher for today's lesson. To start with, get your ball pen, paper, and week for activity sheet ready. Our lesson will be on solving routine and non-routine problems involving addition and subtraction of decimals and mixed decimals using appropriate problem-solving strategies and tools. To continue, let's review first our previous lesson. Look at the screen. There's a list of items Francie bought at the grocery store. Using the table of expenses, what is the total amount spent by Francie? The word total means to get the sum. Let's now apply what we have learned about addition and subtraction of decimal. How do we add or subtract decimal? Let's recall! Step 1. Arrange the digits in column and align the decimal point. Step 2. Insert zeros in the empty decimal place values if needed so that all the numbers have the same number of decimal places. Step 3. Add the numbers. Start from the right. Step 4. Place the decimal point between the digits, vertically aligned to all the addends, and add. Therefore, the total amount spent by Francie is 82 pesos and 70 centavos. Do we have the same answer? That's awesome! Woo! Remember, the same process will be done in the subtraction of decimal. Today's lesson will focus on solving word problems. Solving problems with decimals is like solving applied problems from the previous lesson. We need to understand first the given problem and plan for which operation to use. You may draw an illustration to help you visualize your plan then solve and share. Here we go! Let's try example number one. Aliyah, Laika, and Abigail went to the school clinic to find out their weights. Aliyah's weight is 32 and 58 kilograms. Laika's weight is 33 and 56 kilograms. Well, Abigail weighs 35 and 84 kilograms. What is the total weight of the three pupils? To solve, we must first understand the problem by answering the following questions. Letter A. What is asked? The answer is the total weight of the three pupils. Letter B. What are the given facts? The given facts are Aliyah's weight is 32 and 58 kilograms. Laika's weight is 33 and 56 kilograms. Abigail's weight is 35 and 84 kilograms. The next step is to plan. The questions are a. What operation shall we use to solve the problem? Yes, it's addition. Next question is, what is the number sentence? The number sentence is 32 and 58 hundreds plus 33 and 56 hundreds plus 35 and 84 hundreds equals N. Let's move on to the third step in solving word problem. Can you guess what it is? 
nice answer. So, we are now to show the computation. How will you do that? First, align the decimal point. Second, add as with whole numbers. So, the total weight of the three students is 101 and 98 kilograms. Finally, we are now to check. Mentally compute the total weight using estimation. Is the answer reasonable? This is one way if the answer is correct. Are you still there? Great! Let me give you another example. Mrs. Esther has 4,000 pesos. She will pay 1,597 pesos and 35 centavos for the electricity, 1,423 pesos and 50 centavos for a telephone, and 200 pesos for water. How much of the money she will have after paying bills? Do you still remember the first step to solve word problem? Wow, that's amazing! You got it right! The first step is understand. What are the questions to be answered? Absolutely, you're correct! What is asked? The expected answer is the amount of money she will have after paying bills. Next is, what are the given facts? 1,597 pesos and 35 centavos for electricity, 1,423 pesos and 50 centavos for telephone, 200 pesos for water, 4,000 pesos, Mrs. Esther's money. Moving on to the next step, plan. What are the questions? Here they are. What operation shall we use to solve the problem? Addition and subtraction. What is then the number sentence? 4,000 pesos minus 1,597 pesos and 35 centavos plus 1,423 pesos and 50 centavos plus 200 pesos equals M. Okay class, time to solve the problem, but be sure to show your solution. We need to add first. So, the total amount to be paid for the bills is 3,220 pesos and 85 centavos. Since Mrs. Esther has 4,000 pesos, we will subtract 3,220 pesos and 85 centavos from it. So, the amount left to Mrs. Esther is 779 pesos and 15 centavos. Do we have the same answer? Woo! Wow! I'm amazed you got it! Now, how do we check? Add 3,220 pesos and 85 centavos and 779 pesos and 15 centavos. The sum is 4,000 pesos. So your answer is correct. Are you now encouraged to move on? Woo! Very good! For the practice exercise, be ready now with your paper and bullpen. We will solve problems by answering the guide questions under Understand, plan, and solve. I'll be giving you five seconds for each question for you to answer. Are you ready? 
ready? Problem number one. Felisa has 63 and 7 kilograms of beef. She sold 42 and 2 kilograms. How many kilograms of beef were left? Question number one. What is asked? Question number two. What are the given facts? Question number three. What is the operation to be used? Question number four. What is the number sentence? It's time for you to solve. Excited to check your answers? Great! For answers number one, the number of kilograms of beef left. Number two, 63 and 7 kilograms of beef and 42 and 2 kilograms sold beef. Number three, it's subtraction. Number 4, 63 and 7 tenths minus 42 and 2 tenths equals M. Number 5, the correct answer is 21 and 5 kilograms. To check, we need to add 42 and 2 tenths and 21 and 5 tenths. The answer is... 63 and 7 tenths. Did you get it? Wonderful! Moving on to the next problem. Problem number 2. It's health break time. Marcia went to the school canteen to buy snacks. She bought Chopau that cost 18 pesos and 50 centavos and a book of juice that costs 9 pesos and 75 centavos. If she gave 50 pesos to the cashier, how much was her change? Question number one. What is asked? Question number two. What are the given facts? Question number three. What is the operation to be used? And question number four. What is the number sentence? Then solve. Ready to check your answers? Good! Number 1. The number of change Marcia got after buying her snack. Got it? Very good! Number 2. 18 pesos and 50 centavos. The price of Chopin. 9 pesos and 75 centavos. The price of Buco juice. 50 pesos, the amount of money Marcia gave to the cashier. Number 3, addition and subtraction. 
Number 4, 50 pesos minus 18 pesos and 50 centavos plus 9 pesos and 75 centavos equals M. Number 5, Marcia's change is 21 pesos and 75 centavos. To check, add 21 pesos and 75 centavos and 28 pesos and 50 centavos. The answer is 50 pesos. Are all your answers correct? Woo! Wow, that's great! You are now ready for the evaluation. Prepare your paper and go pen. In the evaluation, you need to read, analyze, and answer the problem. Will just give your final answer. Is it clear? I will give you 20 seconds for each problem. All right! Here's now the problem number one. Rinya buys banana chips that cost 43 pesos and 75 centavos. If she pays 100 pesos, how much is her change? Problem number two. Pinya, Elise, and Agatha went to the beach to have fun. They bought candies that cost 23 pesos and 50 centavos. Chips worth 16 pesos and 75 centavos, and juice cost 32 pesos and 25 centavos. How much did they spend? Problem number three. The Rubeso family spends 4,825 pesos for food in a month, 1,564 pesos and 75 centavos for electricity, and 5,874 pesos and 75 centavos for other expenses. How much does the family save if their monthly income is... 21,323 pesos. Are you done? Ready now to check your answers. Number one. The answer is Reyes change is 56 pesos and 25 centavos. For problem number two, the three girls spent 72 pesos and 50 centavos. Let's move on to the next problem number three. The correct answer is the family savings in a month is 9,058 pesos and 50 centavos. Alright, how many of you get the score of 4 or 5? Great! Those who didn't, you may just review your quarter 1, week 4 activity sheet. And that is the end of our lesson for today. I hope you had fun learning from watching this video. Again, this is Teacher Ernie. See you next time!